So yes, technically your testicles are producing more testosterone, but it's all because of that needle in your ass. Now, depending how long you were on the HCG, you might never get your own natural testosterone production back because What's up folks, it's Uranus, we're in Brussels, welcome to another video. Today we're talking about HCG or human chorionic gonadotropin and a very common misconception around this product. A lot of doctors and a lot of people actually get this wrong. Somehow people think that HCG will increase their own natural production of testosterone. Now don't get me wrong, HCG mimics luteinizing hormone LH and it will make your testicles produce more testosterone but to call it your own natural production is complete bullshit. Now, I do this video as a follow-up because I shared my two-year transformation on HCG monotherapy some time ago. I was on this product exclusively for more than two years and my doctors fucked with me a lot because they didn't understand the proper concept of HCG. I was on that treatment and they cut me off cold turkey every couple of months to see if somehow my production would restart naturally, which is of course complete bullshit. And many people and doctors get this wrong and here in Belgium, there are doctors that prescribe HCG for the wrong reasons. And I wanted to clarify that because this product will, if it's used wrongly, it will shut you down. By the way, I'm not a doctor. This is not medical advice. It's just my point of view. All right, c'est parti. So first we need to understand how the natural testosterone production in the man works or the HPTA. It's a complex feedback mechanism loop between your hypothalamus, your pituitary gland and your balls. All of this to regulate your testosterone and sperm production. Now, I will keep it simple and only talk about balls and brain. Your brain is a command center up there and is sending signals to your testicles. Hey, you guys need to start producing testosterone and sperm. The host needs to make gains in the gym and spread his seed. In turn, your balls will start to produce testosterone because of the increase in LH and FSH. There is a constant feedback mechanism loop between the balls and the brain. If there isn't testosterone, if there isn't enough testosterone in the tank, your brain really release a little bit more LH. And once there is enough testosterone, because of the feedback mechanism, your brain is going to dial down on the LH until your testosterone levels decrease, and then it will send back some LH down there. Now, of course, this is a very basic explanation of what is going on between brains and balls. Now, what happens when you're introducing HCG into this story? Well, as we know, HCG mimics LH or luteinizing hormone, the signal that is normally sent from your brain to your balls. So yes, when you inject that shit, your balls are going to start producing more testosterone because they are getting the LH but because of the feedback mechanism, your brain, your pituitary gland is going to perceive that you have enough testosterone already into your body and so it will no longer send LH down there because you already have enough testosterone into your body. You don't need more LH. In other words, you are shutting yourself down because you disrupt that feedback mechanism between your brain and your balls. So yes, technically your testicles are producing more testosterone, but it's all because of that needle in your ass. Now, depending how long you were on the HCG, you might never get your own natural testosterone production back because basically your pituitary isn't talking to your balls anymore because you disrupted that by taking synthetic LH. It makes me incredibly pissed off when doctors do not understand that basic feedback mechanism concept and are prescribing HCG as a form of testosterone booster. Now I will give you a couple of recent real life examples. Number one is one of my gym buddies. He's 27, 28 years old. I met him a couple of years ago in a different gym. His testosterone levels weren't the best. He did a test. He was in the low 400s. His LH wasn't that high. And so he went to this famous endocrinologist in Brussels. Everybody knows this guy in the industry here in Brussels. He's very famous. You sometimes have to wait just about five hours in his waiting room to go in. So anyway, the guy doesn't want to put him on TRT straight, which is actually a good thing. He wanted to find out the root cause of what his low testosterone was, why was he low and so on. And for some reason, he put the guy on HCG 
three times per week, three injections to see if his own natural production would increase with HCG. So the guy had to take HCG for three months and then stop for two weeks and do a test to see if his levels came back. So what happened? Well, when my gym buddy was taking the HCG, of course, his testicles were producing more testosterone. He was feeling better, making gains in the gym. But then afterwards, he stopped and surprise, surprise, when he did his blood work, his LH and FSH were actually even lower than before. Why? Because he was shutting himself down by taking DHCG. So to me, this is just medical malpractice. The same thing happened to me actually because when I was on treatment I still needed to go through puberty and for the first two years I was on HCG monotherapy and I never understood why but every couple of months my doctor was telling me okay the next appointment you stop taking your HCG two weeks before the appointment and the blood work because we want to see if your testosterone levels came back by themselves. I, have, I had been shut down for what almost 26 years before that and then they're giving me a product that is probably going to shut me down even more, even though my pituitary doesn't work. So the hopes of getting my LH and FSH somehow normal were never there. I've always had undetectable LH and FSH, but they still asked me to stop my treatment two or three weeks before the blood work to see if it would magically come back. HCG doesn't work that way. It's not going to increase your own production of LH and FSH because it will shut you down. The second example is a very good friend of mine who recently did his first steroid cycle and I asked the guy, what are you gonna do for PCT or post cycle therapy? And the guy tells me, well, my coach gave me 5,000 IUs of Pregnil or HCG for PCT. And I was like, bro, are you freaking insane or something? So you're going to do your first cycles of three months with a shitload of testosterone, you're going to shut yourself down and then your only PCT is a product that is going to shut you down even more. Yes, when you're going to take the HCG, your balls are going to do their job, they're going to get bigger again, but what is going to happen afterwards when you stop taking it? Nothing. If you're shut down and you want to reactivate your HPTAs to a significant degree, the only option that you have is to introduce PCT drugs such as Novadex and Clomid and then cross all your freaking fingers and hope that your HPTA is going to reactivate and command your balls to produce the freaking sweet stuff. Now HCG can be used to reactivate testicular function but on the long term you will completely depend on the HCG because you will no longer produce your own luteinizing hormone. So the product should only be used in specific cases for example as a person on TRT that wants to keep testicular function for fertility or libido uh, purposes. It should never be used as a short-term testosterone booster because it will lower your own LH and FSH. So please guys, if you're ever going to take this product, inform yourself properly before. And I probably shouldn't be saying this, but a lot of doctors in my country should do the same freaking thing because they do not understand the basic concept of that feedback mechanism, brain, balls. It's not that difficult in the end. All right, guys, if you like the video, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Subscribe to my channel. I don't buy it. Give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next one. Have a good weekend. Uranus out.